Thank you. Um, yes. Um, so recently, I I have a um, we post a paper an archive with two hundred something pages uh, about the uh, called identity line bundles um, and quasi projective variety, and the uh, the motivation of this article is trying to develop uh, a theory of heights uh, for quasi projective variety which can be used to uh, study um, the varieties or sub varieties of modular space um, of abelian variety dynamic system. So all they are universal family. And uh, the, the paper uh, is a pretty technical, it's long, even introduction is very long. So, uh, so my lecture today is give an introduction to my introduction. Okay, so I will start with the, um, uh, since everything is technical, so I will follow the history. Um, so my, I, I will talk about three parts. Uh, the first part will be, uh, the, maybe first part I will talk about the heights and RKL theory. And um, the second part, I will talk my uh, basic construction identical line bundles. The last part, I will talk about main, um, at least some theorems, you can come out from this thing called the equal, equal distribution. So that's the, uh, um, the three parts. Okay, so um, uh, for the heights, I need a, um, I think many people didn't really, probably not all of you study our kind of theory starts with the very beginning. The theory of heights uh, was formally introduced by Andre Vey uh, in 1920s. But under V, um, this, he introduced the theory of the heights. Um, was he introduced uh, for study? So the height was, was introduced uh, for uh, his proof of uh, model V theorem. I think this is uh, was a part of his PhD thesis. Uh, the title of the paper is called Arithmetic of Algebra Cuts. So that's uh, uh, the thing. And they, then this theory was studied, uh, this height was very studied, theory studied by Northcott. I forget the, the time, but probably 1940s or whatever. Um, then, the first non-trivial theorem that Noscard proved is called the Noscard property. And he used this to prove that the pre-period points. Uh, and Pn um, is uh, uh, over for example, of a K is a finite. So what does that mean that he started that it have a morphism from PN to PN, then he can seat all of the prepared points. X is at the PN, um, this orbit is a finite, FN of X equals FN of X for some, M not equals M. And if you require this thing is some number field, then this is finite. So actually you don't really need a field. They just need a, this can be replaced by degree is bounded. So, so, so even at the very, very beginning, uh, the theory of heights uh, was very seriously studied by dynamic systems, not by, let it be by 
Tate or Silverman is really went back to uh, Northcott. And then um, in 1970s, 1960s, um, the Nehom and the Tate uh, separately introduced called Nehom Tetrahydes. And uh, so this is a, uh, uh, it's a series of highs. So this was used to prove um, the formulate by a bird and a soon and then die uh, conjecture. And uh, the, the bigger difference between uh, the heights of V and then the heights is a, uh, so V's heights is not really uh, honest height. It depends on, so there's a, uh, to, to understand the, them, there is something called a height machine. I forget who introduced that, maybe Sarah. The height machine and is that, so you, you, you have, if you have X uh, over uh, number field, there's a project variety. And my proper is good enough. It's a projective variety uh, over number field. And uh, then for each, um, then you have a pick of X. So this is uh, isomorphism classes. Of line bundles. On X. Then uh, this hardened machine says that you have a, a map from pick X to um, uh, the functions of X over um, K bar to a real number of functions uh, modular the bounded function. And uh, uh, this actually is a group homomorphism. Group embedding. I'm injective homomorphism. Injective. Uh, let me try to write that. Injective homomorphism. Okay. And uh, uh, with a property, has some functorial property. And uh, um, so I mean that if you have X, um, you have a Y mapped X that F, you have a line bundle here, then uh, your pullback, uh, the height of this guy is equal to pullback of your height. Okay, so this is uh, defined by HL compose, I'm sorry. Composed with F. So this is first property. Second property um, is that if X is PN, L is the O1 bundle, then this height of L is the V height. So the, I have not yet defined the V height. Uh, for example, um, if you have a point inside a PN of a Q, and uh, okay, and uh, with uh, homogeneous coordinate, so x uh, you have homogeneous coordinate a zero and m, and the a i uh, a integer with the gcd uh, equals one, then there's a height uh, called a value height or naive height, whatever you want to do, it's a log uh, with the maximum of the absolute values. Mm -hmm. So, so that's basically for the hydro machine, hydro machine, hydro machine. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, is, so the, in, you said injective homomorphism? Yes. You mean, um, oh yeah, tensor. Mod, modular torsion or? 
The torsion is yes. external. Uh, yes, this guy is a vector space. Yes, modular torsion. Okay, okay. Modular torsion. And for Dai Fountain analysis, uh, this height machinery machine is more or less enough, right? Because the theorem we prove usually is about the bounded of heights. Um, for study Birch and Sonnendai conjecture, this is not enough because you, uh, the conjecture is about identity. So it's, it's somehow, it's already uh, the interesting question. So the narrow tidal heights is a one height inside the class. Okay, so this is basically the story between um, then uh, in 1970s. Um, it's a part of our Kellogg theory, it's a partial our Kellogg theory uh, introduced uh, in, uh, intersection theory. An arithmetic surface. And uh, this intersection theory give a new height theory. Uh, the purpose of this theory is to prove I mean, for proving uh, model conjecture. Uh, following uh, the same line of the proof given by Parshen Arakelov of a function field. Uh, there, and this is a fully developed. By Parsons in the 1980s and the Chile Soleil and the, in the end of 90s. The paper is 1991, but I believe. So the bottom line of the theory uh, is that you uh, say if you have a variety say X over um, a K, spec of K, uh, you have a line bundle L, uh, what can I do? You, you, you take an integral model. So this X is the integral model over uh, spec, uh, okay. And suppose you have a, a point, say uh, a point P here, X K bar, and then there's a, there's a, there's a P bar, is a third closure you're getting something like this thing happen, right? And, and of course, this is not a proper, and this is not good enough. So you need to add one more point. You add a, uh, the places V divided infinity. For each infinity, you get XV of C. So you get all unions here. So this, this whole package, it, it's, it's a kind of a, it's called a arithmetic variety. Then if you have a line bundle here, uh, you get a line bundle, uh, let's say L bar. This L bar is the most important part. It have two parts, is L over uh, X, right? So this is a, it's a bundle. On this uh, integral model, this is X. And then uh, here, you, you, you add some metric. So this is a smooth matrix. I mean, for example, if you assume uh, at least it's continuous, some nice matrix. So like, like when XV um, is smooth, for example. And then, um, then uh, their theory say, if you have a, it's, it's a line bundle, line bundle, um, it's 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 a it's a it's a fancy way to talk about devices. So so you you will get so you can define the heights. Um, so you can define the the the, the, the this bundle intersects with your p, right? Because p is a, this is like a curve. So you can okay. So you, you can you can define this number. Let, let me write it different way. So you can you can define the degree, uh, arithmetic degree of your bundle. 
on these people. And uh, yeah, this is essentially the heights, but sometimes we, we normalize and it take the um, people over okay, right? Spec okay. So there's a degree of points. So this is the height. So this is uh, uh, is essential uh, definition of the of the uh, Arakelov theory. I mean, and then you, you might ask, what's the advantage of this thing? Okay, the advantage of this thing is that so you not only can define the height of a point. You can also define the heights of the sub variety. So the, the picture, uh, if, it, if you take the same picture, you have X here over uh, spec of K, you have this model X here, you have this, uh, put this uh, some, some uh, Riemannian manifold, X V of C over to infinity. If you have a sub variety inside the sub variety, then you get a sub variety here, right? You get a sub variety here. Then you can define uh, the height of your Z uh, to be in, in the, is, is the same way that the top of the C1 of bar, uh, some powers and uh, dimension of your Z uh, and Z. Yeah, this will be a real number. And then you normalize uh, the normalization. I mean, at the very beginning, there's no normalization, but in my paper anyway, I figured out that it should be a better way to normalize by some numbers. You, you normalize divide by Z here. And then you also divide by uh, the, um, the geometric uh, degree. So it's a C1 of L of K of dimension of Z of Z. Okay, so this is L. Uh, of course, the, for this definition, uh, suppose this guy is not zero. Okay, so usually if L is ample, that's good. So, so not only so at the advantage of the theory is that not only you can define the height of a point, you also can define a height of a uh, sub variety. But this idea was also uh, discovered by Philippon and others, you know, using Chow forms. But uh, the Arakelo theory could be a much more flexible way to understand. Um, then, uh, for example, from this thing, then you have other uh, beautiful uh, and the arithmetic analog. Of um, of Amponis, right? Then you have something. Can some... Another question. So the, the dimension of Z here is this the dimension of the of the k scheme or the or the dimension of the interval model integral scheme so, so okay. just add so, a one so when z is the point then this dimension is one yes okay yeah. so you get it you get all this positivity so you you get the some theorem um uh, called i can record one theorem we're going to uh, it's called a North Carolina, uh, not a uh, Hilbert Samuel theorem. And you got you got some theorem called successive minima. All the theorems uh, is related on the height of your, your bundle and uh, the variety of a generic fiber to the total uh, heights of your variety. So, so um, I give you a, a flavor of the theorem, it's called uh, the volume, for example. So I just give you one example, uh, which we used later on called volume. So suppose a, a volume of the, of the line bundle, and this will be defined to be the limit M goes into infinity of um, the leading coefficient here for the polynomial. So uh, usually it's M to the, let me see. Um, yes, M to the um, 
dimension of your x and uh, the m factorial of the number of the section of the h zero or our bar to potential m's power. So this 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 section is a kind of a super norm is less equal than one. So this is the analog. This is really analog of the first um, and, and the cohomology, the section of the group of sections, but in arithmetic sense. So this a number here is analog of dimension. So, so that's the typical thing. And there, um, but this thing, it's, it's quite important. So there, so if L is ample, then you can show that this guy is exactly uh, the C1 over L to the dimension of X. So this is uh, you call Hilbert sum Hilbert Samuel formula. So it's a it, it is a probably the the main two from our kind of theory uh, to study the heights of variety. So because this thing is it's it's is construction, right? It construct from the sections. And uh, um so this thing tell you that if this height is positive, then what's going on? So I don't want to go to the detail of the uh, study there. Anyway, the model conjecture was approved by Bartens and just use the definition of heights. He didn't even use uh, the power of Hilbert's Hamilton formula. He just defined his own height um, uh, of abelian varieties. And he used the, uh, the line bundles, he used the integral models, he, but he didn't really use other, um, other fancy things from the theory. And I give you an uh, example, uh, it's always a good idea. So you don't really need to say anything. So if we have a PN of Z, right, this integral model. So here we have a, a bundle O1. So this is a bundle of homogeneous coordinates. So in particular, the, the section of PNZ um, uh, O1 is nothing, just the summation of uh, Z, uh, some SI. So SI is just, I is homogeneous coordinate, right? And uh, of course, uh, each SI does not have any meaning, but a quotient of two SI is really a rational function. And then you can you can add uh, one point here. You get a P and uh, C, right? You get a C point here. So I can I can have O one um, put a, a metric at infinity, and so. So in other words, I mean, uh, then this SI and infinity will be a function from uh, PN of, um, of C to real number, right? Because, and uh, um, this actually can be defined rather e easily. It's defined to be uh, the ratio, uh, at, if we add a point P here over um, summation, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm just uh, uh, maximum of uh, S0 of P, Sn of P. Okay, each of them, each of these quantities is not well defined because it, you, you have homogeneous coordinate, uh, you, you rescale it, you get a different one, but the, the top and the bottom some rescaling. If you use this uh, quite a naive way to define the heights, so then you will get the, the very height of P is equal to this R of height of O1 uh, with this bar here. Let's give a name called this guy, O1 of bar um, of P. Can I ask? Yes. About the, in the volume formula? Is yes. there supposed to be a log 
uh, when you're for the num log of the number of sections or? Oh, yes, you're right, you're right. Um, okay, so just thinking to make it more like a Yeah, this is, a, yeah, this is a log, you're right, you're right. I mean, it, it's pretty clear of a function field of a finite field, right? Then number is not a, we're not going to get a dimension because of the, yes, a log. Yeah, so the Arakano theory is roughly speaking, it, it connect your, your points, hydro points to heights of variety. And, and uh, um, in, in this case, your height, the heights of uh, uh, the O1 bar of, um, of Pn uh, is actually zero. Actually, the other theorem, you can show that if you have x inside of Pn, uh, HO1 of X is zero if and only if this X is a, is a, is a closure of subgroup of, um, let me kind of say, the spacious of right. Let me try to give a name. So, so spacious of right means that it defined by, uh, Okay, so it's it's um, uh, x is a, a subgroup, uh, or maybe component a subgroup of uh, g m to some l uh, inside g m inside p n p l, and this is inside p n. Okay, so you take some hyperplane, you get zeros, then then you get this thing. So, so otherwise it's a positive, right? So that's it. Uh, so we're talking about Arakello theory. So this is uh, something um, um, about Arakello theory and uh, it, it, what it's not really uh, even used in a proof of uh, um, model conjecture. And I mean, the full power is not. So in the 90, 90s, um, then I, I introduced um, the adelic line bundles. And the purpose is to understand narrow tether heights. And, and, and something called a Bogle model of conjecture. So I'm going to uh, write down. The idea is very uh, similar to uh, our kind of theory. So it still starts with, um, with X uh, over a spec K. Uh, for example, the abelian variety spec K. Then I started with the integral model, I guess integral model. But in my integral model, I don't require it over spec OK. So it's a sum of parts, so u here, so u is, uh, is a part of spec OK, right, it says open. So then um, I need to add, so let the S be the, uh, the complement, spec OK, take a u away. So including a in place, not a in place. Then for each V, um, I need to glue all of them together so I needed to glue all this V inside uh, S. Right. Let me write down something. S here. And over here, I have uh, needed to think about the older points, um, V inside S, XV of the CV. So, so I need to consider this thing. So once I have a line bundle here, uh, let me write L here. I have a fancy line bundle here, L U here. I needed to add uh, the lot of matrix. So this is a V adding matrix. So there, well, this idea is quite a trivial. The, the difficult part of the theory is that you needed to add some metric here so that you still can do, so you need to add a, you add a matrix, um, so you then you get the error bar, error u, 
And the difficult part is compare with um, the article of original idea is that the article of original idea, if your variety is smooth, you add a smooth metric, right? Then you do intersection theory. But in a chaotic world, we don't have such a thing called smooth uh, metric. So the smoothness is difficult. So then, uh, yeah, so, but, but, but still I can uh, V inside S. Um, so we add a, so we, we, we add a, um, this thing uh, more systematically. And to get so-called integrable matrix. So I, the reason I call it integrable because I don't know how to define a smooth. Integrable is, in my feeling, is a worse singularity so that it still have a intersection theory, right? So I can't define integration, all these fancy things there. And uh, I will not gonna repeat that because in the second part of my lecture, I'm going to redo all the things. So the bottom line, um, so we get the, so we get, we can prove everything. Uh, we can extend everything. Um, uh, everything uh, from uh, the, the, the traditional Gillespie theory. Gillespie or Kellogg or whatever uh, to this, this, this part. The, the outer put, one other put is some kind of thing called equal distribution theorem. So let's have an equal distribution theorem. The theorem is approved by uh, the Ulamo uh, Shapiro, Shapiro, Ulamo, uh, and uh, myself. And we're not going to introduce the same because I'm going to talk later on, but I just give you one example. One example is the following. Say that A of K uh, be a abelian variety. Uh, open number field. And uh, we uh, let L, let it, uh, the H, uh, narrow, it's narrow tether heights. Uh, a narrow tether heights. Uh, associate to um, ample line bundle. And let, um, we, we, we fix the place. Let the K uh, C be a fixed place, a fixed uh, kingdom place. So, so, so then, and then, okay, so there's a the same set up. So, so then let it, X1, Xn, and be a sequence of points on A, right? And we, we have two assumptions. First assumption is that this Xn is small. That means the height of Xn goes to zero. Second part is Xn is generic. So mean that no proper sobriety of um, of A containing um, infinite subsequence. Okay, so so that's the thing we have. Uh, then. Then the color of it. Um, okay, let's give a name called O X N on on A V of C uh, is uh, R uh, equity distributed. So, so I mean that if you if you have any function 
from L of C, L V of C to a real number continues. Then you consider the finite norm here of O of N X N. We take the cardinality of this O of X N. This will converge into the integral of F uh, D mu on A V of C. The, the D mu is uh, the, uh, the probability Haar measure and the Haar measure and V of C uh, with the total volume one. So that's the order part uh, of the theorem. And uh, even for abelian variety, uh, this is kind of non-trivial, you know, it's a, for example, you can replace this XM by torsion points. Even replace torsion points, I really don't know how to prove without this fancy theory of an identity line numbers. Okay, so this is, uh, um, okay, the finally, uh, finally this, uh, so, so this equilibrium theorem is proved by, used by, uh, we use, then we have a Bogle model of conjecture. Uh, proved by uh, Udomar myself. And uh, uh, for some variety, we have variety of A. Uh, if X is not a translation of B plus point P, so this is a billion sub variety with the torsion points. Then there is this epsilon bigger than zero. Uh, such as that, if X inside X, height of X uh, less than epsilon, is not the sequence. Okay, so that's a, a funny thing. So our kind of theory, and then we eventually use the proof of something uh, on the Bogle model conjecture. And our, the identity line bundles was introduced uh, mainly uh, for this purpose, for understanding narrow tidal heights. Maybe ask me where I did use that delicate. The reason I use that is this picture here. So if A is abelian variety, then um, we have a narrow model, but narrow model itself is not a um, proper, right? That so you can have a toradi compatibility. But if you want to study uh, the question about the Bogle model of conjecture, then you need to make a base change, um, right? Because you study the points algebraically crucial. So that's a really complicated that if you have a trace of toradi compatibility and this thing together. So my idea um, is that I take a U uh, so that I believe variety has a good reduction. When U has not, does not have good reduction, I completely forget about the integral model. So I just introduce, uh, it's very similar to Akimbitan place. So I want to study uh, this um, uh, is an identification to see what's going on. Okay, good. So I, I so this first part took most of my time. So I go to uh, the second part and the third part, actually it's much easier. So part two is a delicate line bundle. We have a quasi project writing. So the idea uh, is it, it, it's the same. So it starts with um, x um, uh, over. Uh, let's let's do the simple thing. It's, it was spec k. It's a quasi project variety. Okay, the quasi project variety. Then. Um, I want to find identical line bundles. So I did not do the compatibility. I compatibly by two steps. So I have a line bundle here. The first step, I pick up X U over uh, a U. The U is still um, spec of, of okay, right? So this guy is flat. And I don't really require the projective with the flat. And uh, okay, quasi projective. Um, but this is far from compatible. So and now I compatible it. 
So now Campanify is it's kind of a tricky. What I'm going to do, you know, I needed to add a, so I have this picture here. This is X of U, uh, this is U here. I need to add a, I need to add a lot of things. I need to some, add something like this because this is not compatified. Also, um, also, I need to add something like this, right? Because uh, I need to add uh, uh, more places. So this is uh, uh, this S here. I also need to add this thing here. Add this thing is kind of easy because only the finally many of them. Add this guy is kind of complicated because we don't, <laughs> if we get a quasi project variety, there's no um, unique way uh, you get a compatibility. So our idea, um, okay, so this whole thing together, okay, this whole thing together, right? We get a, uh, so this whole thing together, let's say uh, it's uh, X and uh, um, I have a line bundle. If I start with line bundle here, I have L of U. So I add a whole thing here, I get an L of, of bar. And um, then, um, so I get, I get a one X L bar, right? So this is, a, it's, it's a, this is, a, the Hermitian line bundle in our kind of theory. Over uh, projective model. And uh, um, then, um, then I need, to, I have uh, many of such a thing, but each of them, for each of them, we have, a, for each of them, we uh, have uh, a height theory. and u of k bar. So the question is uh, how to define limit. And uh, I, let me just illustrate it by one simple example. So for example, my x is um, a2, okay, a2 over q, right? a2 over q, so let's say, <laughs> So I get a really nice model. I can get um, A of Z, spec Z. So I have infinity, I get the uh, A2 over, over C. So this is C square. I can add this in. I can add a very standard way. I can add a P1, P2. Also add a P1 cross P1, or I can blow up them. So in fact, the way you, you do these cards, it's, it's much more than you thought. So you get a kind of an infinite tree over uh, the, the infinite place. So the paper, um, the paper with uh, Xin Yi is that we carefully, we carefully defined a topology on all these models of uh, Erva, the set, and then define the limits. Okay. And uh, there we end up uh, a theory of integrable metros line bundle. Italic line bundle because it's really italic. And uh, so we, 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 we get, uh, you, to make it more precise, we needed to introduce a notion called XAN. So this is called a Berkowitz space of X. And then uh, um, if you never see the thing, that's actually, uh, it's not a, uh, that hard to understand. Let me try to, uh, to give it a slight definition. So if you have, say X is, uh, is covered by affines, not, not just union, it's just union, right? 
So, so this, the spec AI we know is just a uh, set of prime ideas of AI. And uh, the XAN is a spec AI of AN. The spec AI, um, AN, it's a funny thing, it's a set of semi norms. On AI. The semi norm is just AI, A you map to a real number, non negative, such as that uh, the XY equals X and Y. And x plus y uh, less equal than x plus y, but we we do not require um, x equals zero implies x zero. So we do not require this part. If we do not require this part, then uh, if you have a norm like that, and um, uh, you see the kernel of this norm. Of v is actually a prime idea, right? So, so you, so this identification is really quite close related to the x. Uh, conversely, uh, your x. Um, and so, so we have a, 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 and we have a, the funny thing we have a, we have x uh, x a n map to x, and we have a retraction with that. Uh, this one is uh, if you have a point x a n goes to the kernel of x a n from this part uh, is given by if you have a spec of a for example um, if you have prime p here then you get a over p um, uh, then you can define uh, the fraction field right I call it k the residue field p here so the norm you define it by uh, a goes to k of p goes to um, the one or zero. So they're uh, the trivial norm. So there a the norm of a is one if a is not zero, zero otherwise. So you get a trivial norm. So you get it. So the identification is certainly um, kind of a uh, closure of original space. So, so then, so our the, uh, so our identical line bundles of X A N. So this is a, it's it's a metrized line bundle. On X A N, and we define a subset inside called a pick of X um, called an integrable. And inside here, we have x here equal to mod. Mod is this is really uh, come from uh, from models. And this from this to here is defined the topology uh, carefully. Okay. Um, yes. So that's the um, uh, to define this, uh, the topology is complicated. That's a crucial part in the, uh, our paper. So uh, the, the consequence is that we still have intersection theory. Uh, theory. And uh, we, have, uh, we also have the, the theory of volumes. And uh, um, so one crucial theorem, which is really, we have an, we have a Hilbert Samuel. And uh, one thing it's very interesting. Uh, there is some called the called Sue's inequality. And uh, then I, we're not going to describe that there. So, uh, we have two consequences. That's the goes to my second part. Two consequences, two, um, two applications. Uh, one of them is uh, pretty relevant to work of uh, uh, Philip uh, Zian and uh, Dimitrov, is that if you have x 
um, over spec k is a quasi projective. And L of i is, uh, is an integrable a delicate line bundle. And such as that, L over um, this x here. L of k, uh, this is also integrable. You know, this is not a typical bundle. So this degree and x is, um, support this guy is, say, is an f. Uh, this guy is a positive. So this, in their terminology, called non-degenerate. And there, okay, actually, you can't do much offense that that you can map to uh, some base uh, f here. Um, then, um, then for any for any c bigger than zero, there is an epsilon bigger than zero, and there's a sub open setting x here. Um, I suppose here is the line bundle of m here, for example. And such as that, uh, the height, uh, height of X um, uh, of L is greater than epsilon height of F of X uh, with M uh, minus C. So this is a pretty much a very general theorem, but this is really a simple consequence of Sue's uh, inequality. Which was originally proved by in Xing Yi's uh, um, PhD thesis. Okay, and uh, then in in uh, Philip uh, Zian their paper, uh, this one uh, was introduced by uh, a, a form there. So this is one consequence. Uh, well, it's just uh, it's just a reformulation. It's simple consequence of. Uh, she is a, a volume inequality. The second application is um, this is the first application. Another application is equal distribution. So the um, it's it's a same. So suppose you have x over spec OK spec k. is a quasi projective. And suppose your L on, on X is, is always the same, same assumption. So L of X is, a, is an F, K bar, and L of X is a big. Okay, this is a kind of a um, funny thing there. So X is a quasi projective. So Maybe you guys find it funny. So why quasi projective? So my line bundle really a line bundle on this variety. It really line bundle on certain compatibility. Actually, there's a nice name on this compatibility. It's called a uh, uh, Riemann Hilbert space, but I, I don't want to use that. Um, if you have Xn, uh, a sequence of points, And X uh, with the same property, which is small and the generic, then for any place uh, V of K, uh, the color of it. Of XN uh, is X equidistributed uh, uh, equidistributed uh, uh, with respect to uh, something called a Chambalois measure. Right. So this is the uh, end of the thing there. So you have nice applications, you know. to a dynamic system. And then the typical situation dynamic system is uh, or abelian variety. If you have X uh, over the S, uh, this is a dynamic system, relative dynamic system. You have a line bundle there. 
if you have um, all, all the things here that define over k, okay? So if you have a pullback of a line bundle L to the Q, Q is bigger than zero. So this is a relative dynamic system, a family dynamic system, a family. So you, you can apply such a theorem uh, in, in this situation, you will naturally get an uh, error bar as integral line bundle. And uh, is this a, is this a different F? Yeah. Uh, di uh, there's different F, of course. That's called a pi here. Called a pi here. So you have a map uh, and the mod F there. So in this way, you can study the situation. And uh, of course, usually, in general, usually this is always uh, quasi, quasi projective, never be projective. So you can apply our theory to uh, study the same. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, some work have been done by many other, many people before us, you know, so, but we, uh, I think uh, Laura DeMarco and their, their group uh, work out something. Yeah, the recently the um, last cone also used equidistribution to study uh, uniform bond of uh, rational points and curves, which have been generalized by Zian uh, or whatever. So this kind of thing. So okay, um, uh, that's end of my lecture. So sorry, I didn't really have time to really define what's the uh, identity line model there. So I say. If you read the introduction, uh, so the whole point is how to define a topology there. But to define a topology, I need like another 20 minutes. So it's too complicated. Thank you.